today's video I'm going to be sharing with you this look right here and I'm really excited to be sharing this tutorial with you because I really love the way it came out. I've been seeing all these fall makeup tutorials and it just really made me inspired to do something kind of coppery and more warm tones. So I really hope you guys enjoy. I think this look will look good on everybody. This is definitely more of a kind of glam nighttime look but these are the looks I really enjoy doing so let me know if you guys want to see a more toned down kind of daytime look. Let me know in the comments down below. You guys seem to like my last makeup tutorial so I decided to make another one. So this is a full face talk through tutorial so I'm going to stop rambling now and let's get started. Okay so I'm going to start off by priming my skin. I'm going to use the Too Faced Hangover RX primer just because it really helps moisturize my skin and I've been using it a lot lately. Now this is my new favorite foundation combination. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation with the Maybelline Better Skin Foundation. And this kind of happened on accident. I only mixed the two to kind of get my right shade and I actually really, really like it. So this is the concealer. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and as you can tell, it's very well loved. It's one of my favorite drugstore concealers. And I'm just using it in the shade Light and blending that out with my Real Techniques Stipple Brush. Now if you guys watch my videos, you know I use this. It's like my favorite powder to use to set my under eyes. It's the NYX HD Powder in Banana. So I'm just using that all around where I set my concealer. And I'm going to use the Color Correcting Powder in Banana. This is a lot like the Bin Night Banana Powder, only a lot cheaper and a lot less yellow. So those of you with more paler skin tones, I think you would really like this. And I also like using this because it helps catch any fallout from your eyeshadow. So now we are going to move on to the eyes. I'm going to prime my eyes with this concealer from NYX. This is actually their dark circle concealer, but I've been using it as my base. So I'm just going to use that all over my lid and then set it with this cream eyeshadow. This is Lap Dance from NYX. I'm just going to set that so my shadows can blend easier over top. I'm going to go in with Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek and this is going to be my transition shade. So I'm just using a big fluffy brush and just putting that right into my crease. Just a nice warm peachy tone. Perfect for when you're doing more warm tone looks. Now I'm going to go in with Brown Script from MAC. This is a little bit of a deeper kind of reddish brown. I'm going to go in with my Morphe brush and I'm just going to take that right into my crease but not take it quite as high as I took Peach Smoothie. I'm just going to build that up a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with Morocco from Anastasia. It's one of my favorite kind of reddish brown shades. It's a little deeper than Brown Script. So I'm taking that on the same Morphe brush and then just deepening that on my crease. Now going back into the Anastasia palette, I'm going to take this color Fudge and I'm going to take that on my MAC 217. I'm going to focus that on the outer corner and inner corner of my eye. Then I'm just going to take that right into my crease, but not too high, not quite as high as I took Morocco. So as you can see, I'm avoiding the center of my lid and we're going to go in with this color here from ColourPop. This is Kathleen Lights. It's a beautiful kind of coppery bronze shade. So I'm just taking that with my finger and packing that right onto the center of my lid. And to add on a little bit more, I'm going to go in with this Inglot pigment. I think it's the number 24. I'm packing that on with the brush that I wet a little bit with the Max Fix Plus. That's just going to help intensify it and then I'm just going to blend out the edges so there's no harsh lines. Now I was completely out of frame as usual but I'm going to use the NYX liquid liner to do a wing and this is what it looks like here. It's always a little bit dramatic. That's just how I usually end up doing my wing. I'm going to go in with my mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and as you can see I'm completely out of frame and on my lid. I'm just a hot mess. Here I'm just dusting away that excess powder and that caught all of the fallout I had from my shadow. I'm going to go in and bronze my skin. This is the NYC bronzer. I don't know if I really like this bronzer. I feel like it was kind of hard to blend and it got a little like patchy and almost looked a little bit muddy on my skin. So I had to do a lot of blending to make this work. But I ended up going in with my Kat Von D contour kit and I used that to contour out my cheekbones and to hopefully blend that out as best as possible. 
So I just went ahead and blended it out as best I could with the e.l.f. blush brush. I've gone back to using this highlight from e.l.f. I forgot how good this is. This is the Baked Highlighter or Baked Blush in the color Pinktastic. I'm just using this on my Real Techniques setting brush and it just gives you the most perfect glow to your skin. And it's super cheap too, only like three bucks. So I love using this. And then to add a little bit more glow, I went in with the Rose Gold Highlighter from Becca on that same brush. And I focused this a little bit more on my cheeks and it just gave such a nice glow in combination with the Pinktastic Highlighter. And to add a little bit more of a glow, I went in with this Maybelline Highlighting Blush in the color Nude. And that just helped kind of blend all the colors together. And I'm going to go back to the eyes. I'm using this Too Faced liner. It's just a brown liner. I'm just going to use that on my waterline. And it's just, a, I don't know, just a regular brown eyeliner anyone would do. I'm going to smudge that out going back in with Fudge from Anastasia on this little pencil brush. And with the same brush, I'm going to use a little bit of Morocco and take that a little bit lower on the lash line. And then just blend it out a little bit with my Morphe brush. And then we're going to finish off the eyes with these lashes from Coco. They're in the style Goddess. They're some of my favorite for like glam night out looks. They just really help open up your eyes. And for my lips, I decided to go with a nude. So I'm going to take this lip liner from Urban Decay in 1993 and align my lips with that. And I'm going to be using a new liquid lipstick I just got from Dose of Colors. It's in the color Truffle. I love this color and I love the formula. I definitely want to try more of these. It took me a while to finally try one, but I really love the formula. They don't last as long as other liquid lipstick I've tried, but they feel so comfortable on your lips. And I really, really love this color. It's really nice for every day. Now, I was planning on setting my face with the Max Fix Plus, but I was all out. I really couldn't get much. So I went in and I just used the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And it just gives you a nice glow. And here is the finished look. video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give this video a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you have not already and I'll see you in the next one bye